Hello everyone, I'm Alal Jadi. Welcome back to Music Greatness. This is Urban, and for today's lesson, we have Building a Ladder by Haeres Coyote. It sounds just like this. Okay, for the first part of this lesson, I'm going to break down the section of the intro. We're starting here in the key of D major. And for the chord, we're playing first D. Playing octave D on the left, with F sharp on the red hand. Then we're going up on D over F sharp octave F sharp, A and D, then we have G13, G and F, A, C and E, going up a fourth on C major 9, octave C, E, G, B and D. And after that, we have A sharp major 7, octave A sharp, D and A, finishing with D sharp, octave D sharp, then G. Okay, let's recap. We have D, D with F sharp on the bass. G13, C major 9, A sharp major 7, D sharp, finishing the progression. Alright, now let's break down the section in multiple parts. Here's the first one. So, for the first part, I'm going to play up here, one C sharp, then I have F sharp, C sharp again, coming down here, F sharp, C sharp, then again F sharp, and C sharp. Directly after that, I'm playing my very first chord, so D major. Then I'm going to follow that, playing the chord progression that we have, so D over F sharp, G13, C major 9, then A sharp major 7, and before playing D sharp here, I'm going to play one quick A. Then I'm going to get back to D after that, and I will play a quick G. And that will end the first part. Okay, for the other parts, I'm going to keep the same chord progression, but I'm going to change the voicings. So, I have D. So, 
So, after playing D, I replayed the top note on my left. This D up here. Then on my right hand, I played D and F sharp. Then played D over F sharp. With octave F sharp, D and A. Just like this. Then I have one C played alone, followed by this. So I'm playing G11. Still G and F on my left. Playing with C, F and A on my right hand. And I'm still holding the top C. So that's basically an F major over G7. Then I have this. C major 9, C and G on my left, B, D and B. So just like G, I'm going to play the top note alone. So B, I'm going to hold that note and then play the rest. C, G, B and D. I'm going to do the same for A sharp. A sharp major 7. Now playing A sharp A on the left, D and A on the right hand. So play the tap note, hold it, and then play the rest of the notes. And coming up next, we have D sharp major 7 with a sharp 11. I'm playing D sharp and G on my left, A, D, and G on my right hand. Once again, the same pattern, play the tap note and hold it, and then complete with the rest of the notes. And I'm going to finish the second part with a D major 7. Again, octave D, A, C sharp, and F sharp. Still playing the tap note, and then the rest after that. Once again. So as you can see, that's the same progression, but with different voicings. So we have D, D over F sharp, G, now playing G11, then C major 9, A sharp major 7, and now D sharp, major 7 with a sharp 11. Back to D, playing D major 7. Right, let's continue. Here's the third part. All right, after playing D major seven, I have D over F sharp, just like I played in the second part. Then again, I have one C, played alone, followed by this. I have G and F on my left, G, C and G on my right. And after that, I have this C major 7 chord, C, G and B, so three notes on my left. And before playing that, I have E, D that I'm gonna play on my right hand, and then complete with G and B. I'm going to end the third part with this. So I'm starting the movement with A, played on my right hand. 
And then I have this A sharp major 7 add 13. A sharp A, D and G. And now only using my right hand. I'm playing C and F after that. Then A and D. Then go to D sharp major 7, sharp 11, playing octave D sharp on your left, A and D again on your right hand with a grace note from C, going up to D, so the major 7th. Here it is again. After that, play G and C. One quick A before ending on D major 7. Octave D, F sharp, A, C sharp. Once again, the third part. Okay, now here's the last part of the intro. Still using the same chord progression. We're starting with D major 7. Then we have D over F sharp, G11, playing A, C and G on the right, going up on C major 7, add 13, so that's C and G for the left, B, E and A on top for the right hand, and then A sharp major 7. As always, A sharp and A on the left, D and F. And we're going to end the intro playing this movement over D sharp. So, I'm going to actively use my both hands for this movement. I have D sharp and A sharp. I'm going to play first on my left, then I have this played on my right, that's D sharp, G, A, the sharp 11th, and then A sharp. And directly after that, I'm going to use my left to replay A and A sharp. After that, I have D and G at the same time, followed by A and D. Then using your left again, you're going to replay A and D. And you're going to finish the movement playing D, G and A, using your right hand. Now let's play that a little bit faster. Okay, here's the last part once again. Now 
now here's the entire intro slow tempo. Perfect, let's replay all that at full speed. And that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you guys next week for another Urban.